Hey everyone, I kind of made a new contraption again, a cell design for HHL and a new driver technique for it. And for this I'm using an alternator with a one horsepower motor just to simulate uh, the torque off a car engine. Um, so this meter over here is going to be the draw for the exciter that I have. And I hooked it up, it's connected at the back of the alternator housing over here. Um, so a couple things that are important to note about this. So the exciter is not controlled from the regulator uh, in the alternator. It's all done with uh, with a manual override. So I've basically, uh, I took the regulator, I scrapped it, uh, and now it's just kind of outputting uh, higher voltages. Um, and on the plus note of higher voltages, it is the the stator winding inside the alternator is configured in delta. I, I rewound the neutral wire so that it was just configured to each opposing coil, and I could just get the parallel voltage out of it. So higher output overall. I'm going to turn this on and show what it does in a minute. Um, but there's another thing I also did uh, just with the three phases. I'm throwing them into a bridge rectifier. Uh, it, it's a trio and it even shows you on the other side here what that looks like. So it's basically uh, three phases. I don't know why it's showing two there, but there's three and it comes out and it rectifies it to DC. So I basically just get three phase alternating current and it's at a half bridge of DC to, to the cell. So I'm just getting a pure isolated setup it, it forms kind of a tank circuit if you think about it because you've got an isolated setup on the alternator three coils total and then you've got your blocking diode and then cell capacitor ie capacitor so i'll fire this up and show what it does um, this right here is my voltage coming off of the dc current so i don't expect it to be very high for my test here on let's see so I'm at 180 Hertz 65 percent duty cycle I guess it doesn't need to be that high let's just try 50 percent and we'll see what we get at 180 Hertz Hertz 50 percent it's applied with 12 volts so go ahead and I'll fire up the motor and then I will power the exciter
So conclusion, I don't think it's enough to, uh, well, at least at this very point in time, uh, I don't think it's enough to actually start a dual cylinder engine, um, but it is enough gas to where I'm thinking I could maybe get, uh, there's a couple things I can do, larger pulley, um, faster RPM. Um, I also didn't really condition the cell. Um, for very long. It's a very long tube cell, so lots of surface area. It's all in parallel, so there's a very big load on with the cell, um, but I got to run those pulses long enough to where it's actually going to start to resist enough and utilize the higher voltage. Now, I did get 20 volts, which I was happy with, but I, I did want more than 20 volts, um, pref preferably in the hundreds, but that was not really foreseeable because I think that my speed on my alternator is just not heavy enough to really give it the oomph it needs. Um, but I think that I am getting somewhere. I just need a few more things in check uh, and I should be good to go. Um, I also did forget to turn off my exciter. It takes roughly a couple amps, I, I believe, yeah roughly a couple amps so um, there is progress that is good but at this point in time I don't I don't believe I'm ready to throw it into a propane converted engine or a generator for that matter and just see what I can get because um, I don't think it's enough gas the gas is very powerful um, but I don't think it's enough if that makes sense so let me know what you guys think